So Peter, yes. right? Um, I don't know if you've had this experience before, all right? Um, being that we do magic, sometimes we arrive at places where possibly we've never met the people before. Uh, I'm not talking about gigs here, but social functions yeah. where people find out that you're a magician, right? And it kind of throws people a bit. Right, it throws people a bit because it's not something that generally comes up in conversation. Yeah. Most people are saying, oh, accountant, lawyer, solicitor, doctor, that sort of thing, but never a magician. Yeah. I've found recently that um, that's become sort of like a uh, double threat because what happens is people, um, Debbie, my wife, will say, oh, Andy's a magician. And people go, oh, right, okay. And it doesn't have that sort of kick to it anymore, yeah. right? But then she says, oh, he, run, he works in a magic shop. And people go, magic shop? Magic shop, I've never heard of a magic shop, right? Um, so it, it kind of throws people a bit. And I thought the other day, you know, it's a weird sensation that actually, if you don't know something about some, someone, even if you've known them a long time, that can kind of throw you a little bit. I mean, if you were to turn around to me and reveal a bit of information after the time that we'd known each other, it, it could potentially throw me, because I think, well, I'm the, I didn't know that about Peter, yeah. right? Um, and that. So um, many years ago, I say many year ago, years ago, I was 18 when my, my granddad passed away, right? And when my mum and dad were clearing out um, his loft, they found a load of photos. Now, not family photos, they found a load of photos from, from weddings, all right? These are the photos from, from the weddings here. I'm sure that everybody can see these. Um, they're happy souls, aren't they, right? Yeah. These, these are photos from weddings. These specifically are photos that my granddad had taken at weddings, a little bit like uh, a wedding photographer would do today because we know that wedding photographers have become more and more popular, yeah. uh, you know, um, uh, at places like wedding fairs and stuff, uh, much like magicians have. Um, these are photos that you've taken over a period, obviously they're not colour photos, um, and you can see it's quite a broad range of years here. Yeah. Um, I think these are all being picked up on the camera. Um, now, he gave up photography, right? I'm told that he gave up photography, and the reason that he gave up photography is because he became quite close to the people that are in these photos, and unfortunately, one of the, one of the stories of the couple, uh, the couples in this photo, didn't end very well. I and mean, that kind of was the, the catalyst for him to stop taking photos anymore, all right? Um, look, we have some photos down here on the table. I want to see how in tune you are um, to here today so I don't know I, I can't remember what hand you're right with what's your dominant hand excellent hold out your dominant hand just uh, about here that's perfect mm -hmm. all right and what I want you to do is I want you to move it backwards and forwards over the photos I want you to just relax as you did earlier on and I want you to stop wherever you feel okay wherever you feel the urge okay I just went there mm -hmm. okay now um, I ask you to stop wherever you can move your hand uh, I ask you to stop wherever you you felt the urge did you actually have a feeling, or was it something that maybe you can't quantify? Something that you just kind of you, you just kind of went with? Uh, just something I, I went with. Okay, so it wasn't a gut feeling as such. It well, was just, it was a feeling to stop. It was a feeling to stop. Yeah. Okay. Well, given that you have no information apart from the fact that these are wedding photos, yeah. right? Um, and that my granddad taken them all right if I was to also tell you a little bit more about one of the photos maybe that will sway you a little bit more all right um, my granddad stopped taking photos I, I said earlier on that he got close to people in the in the the weddings that he was taking uh, one of the couples he got close to but unfortunately their, their marriage didn't last that long okay um, but uh, for, for various reasons which we'll come back to later on um, we won't use your dominant hand this time mm-hmm all right, I want you to hold out both hands and I'm going to just give you a little bit of information. Um, one of the couples, their relationship ended because uh, there was, a, there was a, a, an actual murder that was committed. All right. Ooh. So with that information in mind, when I snap my fingers, I want you to bring one of your hands down. Ready? Mm -hmm. There? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll get rid of these two. Um, and there are two photos left here on the table. Um, hold your hands out again. Uh, we'll try this one last time. Uh, bring your hands down. Perfect, and we will get rid of that one as well. Yeah. Um, so that leaves us one last photo here. Now, uh, earlier on, you had no information and asked you, did you go for like a gut feeling or anything? Um, and you said you, you felt you felt the need to stop uh, stop around this sort of area. Okay. And um, given that you had some other information earlier on, and these were quite impulsive reactions here. Um, I'm surprised that you landed. Well, I'd say I'm not. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised that you landed here um, because this couple, um, out of all of these, I mean, I don't really know the names of these people here, but I do know about Joan and Arthur. 
Okay, this is Joan and Arthur here. Uh, of all, all the people that my granddad got attached to, I think Joan and Arthur were the ones that he was attached to the most. Um, and unfortunately, uh, their relationship didn't end well. Uh, we have uh, a photo here. I know it's an uncomfortable thing, um, but do you mind just taking hold of the photo and just tearing it down the middle? Um, and once you've done that, just hand me one of the pieces. Okay, and hand me one. Perfect. And what I would like you to do is I would like you to take this one and just tear it in, in half. Yeah. Joan and Arthur had a, have a sad story in, in actual fact. I'll turn this around just so that everybody can see. Uh, Joan and Arthur had a, a sad story. Um, they were only married two weeks. Uh, it seems that unbeknownst to Arthur, uh, Joan actually had uh, you know, a, a few issues that he was unaware of. Um, she had a bit of a nervous breakdown um, one day um, and when Arthur was laying in bed, she walked downstairs, went to the kitchen, picked out the biggest knife that she'd find from the kitchen drawer, walked back upstairs and took it to Arthur's throat and then spent the rest of her life in a mental institute until she died, okay? Um, I, uh, you know, the, 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 I'm actually getting quite uncomfortable myself. I think that my granddad uh, must, uh, he, he ended his career as a wedding photo, and I think he must have felt as, as um, uh, shocked and bereaved uh, as possibly I'm feeling here today, because out of all of the photos that he'd taken, um, and we're talking in a time when photos weren't things that you would have masses of, not yeah. like photo albums, right? There was only one that he had a duplicate of that he ended up destroying. When I say destroy, um, he must have still had a bit of an attachment to it because even though he destroyed it, he kept all the pieces. And that would be the pieces of the photo that were from Arthur and... Wedding. That is so good.